Hi guys, long time no see. I have been absent from the channel for a couple of months while I nursed a pretty horrific injury. So I haven't been able to do a whole lot of the things that I normally do for this channel. But I've got to the point now where I'm all taped up, a little bit of painkillers and a little bit of healing, and I'm ready to make dinner. So today we're gonna to be making creamy chicken tortilla soup and I've had a craving for tortilla soup for days and days and days and I finally decided today's the day I'm going to make it. The recipe that I got I took from a website called thecookierookie.com. I'll put a link to it down here, a link to the whole recipe, but I've never made this one before so we're going to see how we do. Wish me luck. So here goes our cooking oil, avocado oil. We try to stay away from the seed oils because we're trying to be super health conscious and just FYI, seed oils are super bad for you. Don't waste your energy on it. So let's have that heat up. And once it's warm enough, we're gonna throw in our diced onions. to cook those onions for about three minutes. So as I said, I've been injured for a couple of months. I have degenerated discs in my neck and it's managed to pinch a whole bunch of nerves in my shoulder and my arm and my elbow. So most of what I do, I can't really grip much with this hand. So almost everything that's gonna need any kind of strength will have to be with my non-dominant lefty hand. So I'm gonna teach myself to be ambidextrous. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know how I'll manage. For those of you wondering what I'm drinking today with my dinner, my favorite, Apothic Red, California Red. It's pretty close to the best red wine I've ever had. This is not an endorsement. It's just my own personal favorite. So, time to add the jalapenos. Calls for two chopped jalapenos. I only chopped one because we have a delicate stomach in the house. My daughter is not really fond of spicy food and I still like to feed her sometimes. So, and besides, chicken tortillas is one of her favorite things. I wanna make sure she gets to have some of this. Then we add garlic that I love to use. And there's no such thing I think is too much, so. Look at those. I wish I could describe to you guys what this smells like. Onions and jalapenos and garlic. Mm -mm. I could eat almost just this. Oh, so, time to put in the chicken broth. Normally I like to make my own broth, but I don't have any. And I was in a pinch. We bought pre-done broth. After the broth, time for the corn. I'll be honest, I added a little extra corn because I love corn and I don't eat it very often. Time for the beans. Tomatoes. Crushed tortilla chips. Also the spices. Spices is one of those things I never really measure. I have a pretty good idea for what works and what doesn't. I kind of just do it for taste. To my own taste, that's cumin. Oh, the last one was smoked paprika. Chili powder. Be careful when we open the bag on this one. I'll be adjusting the taste of this later. Crushed red peppers. Salt. I like a lot. And 
pepper. That's gonna be a tough one. Can't really, I can't really turn it. My crappy arm. I need a break. Okay, let's see if I can. Oh, I can't turn it. Mikey! Give me a hand, please. Here's my muscle. If you would, my love. I could really use turning help because I'm helpless. Special guest appearance. <laughs> How much do you want? There's so much. There's no such thing as too much. I know that. You know that. Does the audience know that? They do now. Okay, that's probably good. Thank you. Get my exercise in. Thank you. <laughs> we'll make them exercise more later. It says reduce heat, but I'm gonna wait till it heats up first because everything I put in cooled it off quite a bit. So I might to start at least simmering. I'll wait till it bubbles up a bit and then we're gonna add the chicken. Just look how good that looks. All kinds of goodies in there. I love good hearty food. So it looks like it's gotten nice and steamy. So time to add the chicken breasts. Whole chicken breasts, boneless, skinless. We're gonna throw those in the pot. So it says to leave the chicken in there to cook for 20 minutes, to cook the chicken all the way through. And then we'll be pulling it out to shred it up. We'll get back to you when that happens. It smells so good, guys. So good. Hot. Seems like this chicken's probably pretty close to cook through. So we're gonna grab it and chop it up. Now it's time to add lime juice. You're supposed to juice a lime, but I don't have one handy, so we're gonna use this. And heavy cream. Now, the recipe says one cup, but I don't measure very well. I don't like to measure. So I'm just gonna pour the whole thing in. Hope my pot holds it all. Now that looks fabulous. Mm. Look at all that in there. There's a ton of everything in there. So we'll just let that heat up and thicken up a little. Then it's time to taste. Gonna be good. Okay guys, so I have poured myself a bowl or ladled out myself a bowl. We're gonna dress it with avocado slices, some pepper jack cheese, and a sweet little dollop of sour cream. And that's it guys. Time to eat.